This is the time of year that uh, young people should be celebrating graduations. There should be graduation parties, celebrations, memories of the past, and that's not happening. Um, this causes me to think back to the time when I graduated and left for college and um, several years I lived in the dorms and ate the cafeteria food and I had no problem with that at all. Then I moved out on my own and I had to, uh, had to go to the grocery store. And the first time I was there, it was over 45 minutes and I was just really lost in the store. Couldn't find things in the aisle. Came home and determined that's not going to work. So I developed a menu that I would uh, use every week and a shopping list. And in that shopping list, it was uh, written by aisle. So I could go in there and in 15 minutes, I could take care of what I needed. So I was bragging to my friend about this and they said, well, how much do you spend a week? And I told them and they said, that's almost unbelievable. Nobody can survive on that little bit of money. And they said, what are you buying? And so I shared with them some of the things I was buying. Well, I learned a little more that day. Uh, one of the things that I told them I really liked was grilled cheese sandwiches. And they said, you're not buying American cheese, are you? I said, yeah, I ate it my whole life. They said, that's not real cheese. I said, what do you mean it's not real cheese? He said, that's cheese food. I still didn't understand. They go, read the package. So I did. I couldn't pronounce most of the words. The other thing I found out is there was a spread that I was buying that wasn't real butter. So I began to find out there's a lot of things in that store that are not real. And I had to figure out in life there are things that are real and there are things that are presented as if they are. My Christianity, I went for quite some time being much like this American cheese. And then at the age of 21, I realized that I wasn't truly saved. I repented of my sins, acknowledged them to God told him I was a fraud, turned from that, and started following him. Well, he has been in the process of transforming me ever since. And um, in that transformation process, one of the larger areas that I've had to deal with is anger. Some people deal with fear. Some people deal with anger as a major issue in their life. And so God began to put me through a series of trials to where I had no control over what was going on, that I might trust in Him. And He has dissolved, beginning to dissolve those issues that I have. I experience now peace, and tranquility, a winsomeness that I never had before. And I'm thankful to the Lord for that. The passage that we have this morning is Acts 4.33, and it says, And with great power God gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the Jews at that time wouldn't believe things unless they saw it. And I think we live in a world that's like that today. And uh, this is why it's important that Christians live out their faith in front of individuals. If you're a non-Christian, you're probably waiting for a Christian to demonstrate it to you. Well, you may not know me, but I want to tell you that the Lord has changed my life. And people that do know me know that uh, I'm a much different person. And I thank the Lord for that. And I thank Him for uh, uh, transforming me from something that was not real to more like Him. And he's real. And he's real in my life. And he can be real in your life. Ask the Lord to save your soul today. May God bless you. Thank you so much for listening.